What up, what up, what up? It's your boy LQ, Mr. Real Deal Fantasy HQ, bringing that DLF football heat this week with the Monkey Knife Fight, week seven picks, and time to make that money. It's bring home the gold season, so let's get right into it. So I got the picks of the week, man, week seven. I got some Monkey Knife Fight money. Bring home the gold season is here. So listen, I got these guys. They need to be targeted. They need to be on your radar to bring you home the gold this week. So Darnell Mooney is who I'm going to start with, with 9.5 fancy points. I'm going with the over versus the Bucks. The Bucks are still beat up in that secondary. They lost Richard Sherman to a serious hamstring injury. So they're just losing corners week after week. So I definitely feel as though the Bucks are giving up 26.5 fantasy points to wide receivers. So therefore, Fields is finding Darnell Mooney. He's finding him to be his favorite target. Mooney right now is averaging 6.5 targets per game. He actually ended up finding the end zone last week. So, hey, Darnell Mooney's on my radar to hit the over for the 9.5. Next up, Darren Waller for the 67.5 receiving yards. I'm going with the over here, man. They look to be resurged. They got rejuvenated. Now that Gruden is out of the way, he's been fired. So, therefore, they come back with a little swagger. So, this matchup against the Eagles, the Eagles secondary hasn't been the best. They're actually giving up a 211 yards per game through the air, and that's fifth in the league. So, therefore, Waller, the volume is still there. It's untouched, unmatched. So, Derek Carr, Waller connection is going to be beautiful this week and definitely taking that over for the 67.5 receiving yards. Hey, really quick. Now, Monkey Knife Fight has a challenge going on. You do not want to miss out on it. We're in the second week of it. Week 7, Week 8, and Week 9, this challenge will be going on. Four weeks total. We definitely don't want to miss out on it. If you do not have a Monkey Knife Fight account, don't worry. You can register us at the DLF main page and hit that Monkey Knife Fight ad banner. Register through us on DLF main page, and you'll be able to have access up to a year of DLF content. So you do not want to miss out on that. It could be weekly prizes, season-ending prizes. You do not want to miss out on this Monkey Knife Fight challenge. So go sign up now if you didn't already. But if you're already a member, good for you. Now go ahead and get into these challenges. Next up, Calvin Ridley, man. My boy is back. He did not make the London trip. Personal issues, he was out, so it wasn't for injury. So he's coming back to a great matchup. The volume is there for him. They have him at 16.5 fantasy points for the over I'm taking against Miami Dolphins. Defense said has been beat up as well. Also not that great. I feel as though he's back in the lineup. He's rejuvenated. He's the number one target. Like I said, volume is key here. So 16.5 fantasy points. It looks like a cakewalk for Calvin Ridley being that he is the guy there. Kyle Pitts is also there. Cordero Patterson, they do what they can do. But I feel as though Calvin Ridley still remains that guy. The numbers are there. Numbers don't lie so 16.5 fantasy points next up this feels like a no-brainer man um chubba herbert you know versus the giants to 68.5 rushing yards i'm gonna take the over here as well the giants have been playing like dog doo-doo for the last couple weeks and i feel as though that chubba herbert right now has a great matchup being that the giants are giving up the second most rushing yards on the ground and i feel as though the yards it's going to be there for chubba herbert i feel as though sam darnold has been struggling lately i think they can get it together this will be their bounce back game herbert hubbard or however you say it he will be the guy on the ground i feel as though he's taking this rb1 role you know to the heart he's taking it to the moon Phil Stover's Freeman's there. I don't think he's a real threat. I definitely feel Hubbard is the guy in the system with CMC out. So, hey, I'm going to take the over 468.5 for rushing yards for Chubba Herbert. Next up, my guy is out of the bye week, Debo Samuel versus the Colts this week. 16.5 fantasy points. This seems like a smash here. This is one of my favorite ones going against the Colts. who are giving up the most touchdowns for wide receivers in the league right now. I feel as though Debo Samuel has been stamped, verified as the wide receiver one for the San Francisco 49ers. There's no other guy there. No brainer, Ayuk. So Debo Samuel is a smash this week. This 16.5 is a no brainer here. He's getting it done through the air. He has that home run ability at any point in the field. Number one in red zone targets as well. So therefore, Debo Samuel is the guy. I definitely feel as though this is going to be your best smash of the week right now for all monkey night fight. So that wraps up. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. These guys are on my ticket this week. 
Hopefully we can keep me accountable. Leave a comment below. Let me know how you did last week. And then let me know when you watch this one next week on the next week's episode, how you did on these guys. I feel as though these guys are going to be smashed this week. It doesn't seem like too crazy. The matchups up there, these guys are healthy. They're coming off a bye, fresh legs. So I definitely feel as though this is the week we cash in. We cash in all across the board. So again, make sure you like and subscribe, comment on the video. Tell me what you guys think of the video. Let me know I'm doing a good job as well. DLF football is putting out fire content only this entire season. So make sure you check out the website as well and become a subscriber, man. Subscribe, man. That's all we want, man. Get these numbers up. So I see you guys next week for another great episode. Peace.